Welcome to 5minutetutorials.com. This tutorial is uh, Adobe Illustrator CS6 and should work fine with previous CS versions of Illustrator. What we're going to be talking today uh, about is the eyedropper tool. I've got uh, four different shapes here and I want to explain a little bit about the eyedropper. A couple things here. The eyedropper is designed to pick up color. So whatever object you go above, that's its default usage. It picks up color. Now let's see what its options are. You go ahead and double click the eyedropper tool and that opens up this palette here. And you'll notice that uh, the eyedropper picks up. Well, you can actually select what it actually picks up by checking and unchecking. These are uh, different options that you can toggle. You can uh, just select them uh, and select what it is that you do and you don't want there. And also, when you apply what the uh, eyedropper is picked up, which I'll explain next, you can actually uh, make that different if you so choose. So those are available by double-clicking the eyedropper tool. So I've got, uh, picked up my yellow here. What I'm going to do is uh, do another box right across the bottom here where we'll apply what we're doing here. So now the foreground color was there, so I'm going to get the eyedropper tool. The keyboard shortcut is the letter I. So I'm going to pick up the blue, now the green, now this uh, kind of salmon color. Now you notice what's going on here. Because the object is selected, whatever I click on, that uh, is color is being applied to it. So if your object is selected, when you use the eyedropper tool, whatever you click on, that's what will be applied. There's another way of working also. You can pick up a color and then you can come right over here and you see, well, it's not really applying. It's just picking up the, the blue once again. If you hold down the Alt key or the Option key on a Mac, now it'll actually pour. You notice you can pick up a color and when you hold down the option, the eyedropper icon flips over and it looks like it's full of color and then you can pour it out. So that's how you can actually go through and apply different colors uh, on the fly there. So this has been 5minutetutorials.com. Hopefully you feel more comfortable with the eyedropper tool now. Make sure you do use the option or the alt com command um, or make sure you have your object selected. If you enjoy what you're seeing here, we would appreciate if you'd share this website with all your colleagues, co-workers, and friends.